welcome to a new video and um, let's say it, it is February and um, love is in the air. Um, I like to show you my latest um, created um, collection which is a totally Valentine's uh, Day themed um, creation for you and um, I added a lot of art stuff. Um, at the moment I'm so much into painting and scanning and uh, ripping off stuff and painting over it and um, I really enjoy it, just this, this stamping and doodling and whatever and um, so you will see that uh, in the next collection of course a lot more again um, and um, yes this is it this is Art Crush um, 59 and um, it's about love of course you can also use this collection for other um, occasions um, and um, let's see what I have created these are the previews you can get um, a kit with the artsy bits and pieces and bits and pieces plus word arts and papers but also you have the options to buy all of the packs as uh, individual um, products so uh, this is the um, artsy bits and pieces pack um, we have an alpha mix um, not very often I do them but um, yes sometimes um, it just jumps in and um, I want to create it this is the bits and pieces pack it looks a bit a little bit of that's not much in but it's quite a lot in um, we will see it detailed later um, we have some cards here in different versions and one of my creative team members asked for some um, curled uh, frames so they are really created that you can clip only your photos or papers or whatever you want to um, on them and um, some do have different layers but let's uh, go later into the into the um, file and check it out this is the main preview and we have some paper scraps and these paper scraps are included in the um, artsy bits and pieces pack um, the papers here we have solid papers we have um, 12 by 12 papers no portrait papers um, are included I totally forgot them to create don't know why they are not done and here are the templates they are loved um, um, my creative team was totally into them when they um, saw them the first time and I really love them I love this um, watercolor in the back and um, yes the the grid and the stitching and yes uh, we go later into the file as well and check it out we have here the word arts um, different kind of styles a bit some of them are real stamped some of them are more graphic typed some are like stickers um, yes let's go into the detail and then into the folders here we are with the artsy bits and uh, pieces pack so okay um, you get two folders A and B when you download them so take care that you both par parts download and we check out now the folder A and it doesn't show up hello here we have some arrows and this is of um, for example one of those scans from an old um, newspaper I found from I guess it was 1930 so somehow between World War 1 2 or anything so it's pretty old pretty pretty old and um, yes um, then here we have another artsy bit here and we have here some um, some um, string on top of it we have here this laced heart it's um, a stamp and then I put on um, um, kind of a lace um, texture on top of it 
and different kinds of artsy bits here you can find this one is one of my favorite and um, if you check out my facebook site uh, page you can find the header and the new header is created with that one also on my youtube channel um, does have this new chat um, this new um, header including this and also that one is included and we have here some softer watercolor stamped painted and some graphic elements this is some frames and doodling also this is pretty cool i love the combination of the colors the purple and the pink and the black and white so that's that's one of my favorite color combination if you add a little bit of a turquoise i'm i'm totally happy and we have here some um um greenery greenery in black <laughs> and um yes also love that one that's also pretty cool and paper scraps different kinds of yeah paper scraps and we have here some doodle stuff which i've done um a lot lately kind of that stuff and i also love these kind of stamps this one is also pretty cool another one and we have some pencil inks and splatters with um, gesso and black paint and then we go into the next folder <coughs> sorry i have a little bit of a cold i just wondering about this one oh, okay i thought it's white in the background but it's okay so um we have here some gessos and um, here's some another one yes a lot lot of gessos you can find here and some paper scraps and these these are the, the little like like cards or journal cards and you can of course use them as journal cards in in your uh, and your pocket pages this works perfectly and um, you can see the papers and these papers are really created by hand from me um, it's a little bit of therapy at the moment to create when I I work just really hard very long 12 hours days at work I have just and when I come back I'm mostly so tired um, but often I pick my stuff a little bit I have a little a little basket where I have everything in some scissors and um, washies and uh, white paint in a little bottle and uh, I create little scrap stuff just on a little piece of paper um, mostly I do that just an hour and then I go to bed <laughs> yes um, and um, these backgrounds where I create on a piece of paper with paper scraps and stuff I multiply or add here on um, a different background um, yes and this is how they look like so most of them are this is also painted and stamped um, one of these stamps I have done in between Christmas and this one this pink neon pink I had um, about 10 years ago i had a a, a a time i loved neon pink which i do just now again and this is this is something from that time i i created and um yes i really love them to watch um if you if you, i did that collection some six weeks ago kind of that and um seeing now all the stuff i have done six weeks ago is weird <laughs> because mostly i had finished all my um art crush collection just one or two days before the release and um there's now a pretty distance between but um seeing now it it's kind of weird 
Also, this paint was from this 10, 15 years ago when I painted that. It's really that long ago when I painted these paint strokes um, and recently found them again and rescanned them because my scanner is much better at the time I, I painted them. And um, this is also a few years ago I had I, I bought every kind of colors uh, I, I found um, watercolor in this um, um, kind of I don't know how it's the name in, I only know it in German it's called Batik colors and with with nail polish into water and then you you squirrel with a with a skewer around so that it's like marbling and then you put on the water um, a, a paper sheet and then it takes off um, the color the paint that's yeah <laughs> I don't know if it's interesting for you so this is this is what you get in the second pack here um, yes gessos and these paper scraps um, which you can use in so many different ways you can stack them on top of each other and whatever you want to or how I already said um, you can use them in um, templates just good just a second um, so okay um the next pack are we should go no we go with the papers here we have here the papers just one of i've worked a lot on these two papers somehow um i started them they look not how i wanted started over again put again on top of uh, it um different kinds of of paint so uh, this is really if you would have done a real painting I, I think there are 10 or 12 layers of different kinds of paint until it was now finished so um, only for you to know that it's not just throw things into into it and it's done so um, some papers really need a lot of time until I love them and this is one of them and especially also that one I had this rough texture and it was too boring then I put on some paint I had or some gesso and um, until I got this kind of little bumps here with the shadowing and it and that effect um, really um, got me so um, then I added this watercolor paint and some doodling and painted over with all these strokes and stuff and those stems with this um, stars so um, until it was finished so it started also um, um, slow and I opened the paper I think three or four times until it was like that um, of course we have other papers here like this one this is only scanned and done and um, you are ready but um, yes go back yeah oh, okay <laughs> um, this one with purple um, I made this paper and thought I don't know it looks weird and it re reminds me kind of of the 80s I don't know um, but I saw it on a lot of lot of, of layouts lately in the in the forum and in the uh, or in the gallery also my uh, creative team used it a lot um, to um, um, edit little pieces and clipped it on, on some elements um yes this one is also kind of i when i now see it it looks like blood splatter really it does i didn't realize when i when i created it well okay so we have here some kind of pattern paper and um, what I want to show you with this paper, because we had yesterday in the chat, we had a talk and um, I think it was Krista used this paper and recolored it. So there are two ways to recolor a paper like this. Um, oh, if you want to have a black and white, what you also can do is um, 
we go back to the artsy bits and um, just want to I use that one copy it paste it and place it on top only that you can see the difference here are my layers um, so this is how you can linear burn and if you go on lighten you can see how all what is black takes up the color from the artsy bits so if you want to increase it so this is how you can recolor it of course what you can do you can start um wrong a new layer so you have a new layer and add here a color of your liking maybe this pink and then you can go on lighten and as you can see now the color of the new created layer is covered or covers the black parts of your um, paper from in the back this works only with lighten if you have a black um, black elements um, of course what you can also do is I'm gonna copy so the paper and um, go to the problem is now you can't see what I just um, can I move the frame the problem is really just that that I have such a huge monitor that you can't see the the menu here what I'm that, that I want to open well that's pretty silly um, you can go to replace colors it's uh, when you go on image adjustments and then replace colors so this is what opens now so you can pick now with a uh, with the pipette all black parts okay and then you click on the color and say okay I want to have it red and you can see here this is the saturation lightness and now is a good question why is it replace color it, that's weird if you want to add here okay different different way select and select and layer I wonder why this is not working deselect isolate color focus object select and mask yes this is this is the way when you want to explain something just out of nothing and you haven't prepared yourself to explain the things how they sh how they work um i really just wonder why it not takes over what you also can do is select and say similar and then you go just light and normal this is how you can do it but it's not the way I want to it's really it's really just why does that not work for me just why does it make because I want to have that that should be red color red localized hmm. well you you see sometimes I'm also um, just want to say useless but that's not a, what I am <laughs> I am um okay select and mask is also something that I not want to um, so weird that's 
really that's really strange select um deselect find color range sampled shadows range fuzziness oh no no okay okay I know that you need to go up with the saturation that's for sure lightness default ah okay have you seen it I just ch changed to sepia um, old style so you need to get something here grab you you need to grab something here that you get a color into it um, I guess that the hearts are 100 black and there was nothing no other color in it so 100 exactly black and that makes that through the um, overlay of the color there was no other color that can be changed Oh god that's hard to explain but yes you need to get a little bit of a different kind of um, a, a color into it you need to go away from the from the black and this is this happens if you go to sepia strong yellow boost so also with the blue and now you can change the color into if you have here the reds and then you go into the um, into the saturation you can build that up if you want to be more pink you can change here on the other side to a um, more pink we have now a kind of a um, raspberry color and um, here with the saturation you can create the intensity of your pink and here is the lightness but with if you if you use hue and saturation I think it's always a little bit of a um um it's not a good eye to to play with the lightness i like it more to play it we go here on zero back and then go with um with levels and with levels i think you can create a much better a more exaggerator um way to change um the the lightning the the lightness of of an element so playing with the levels are much better than um with the hues okay that took now a little bit and i hope you 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 got it um yes this is how you can change um one of the the, the colors but i think the most easiest way in this kind of um in this way is really put on a color layer on top of it go to lighten and um, if you now have selected the color layer you can go to command um, U this is U in saturation and if you go now and put down the lightness and go up with the um, saturation you also can change here any color if you want to so you can also play here around and I think that's the the, the the easiest way to change um the color of it and it's more if you go on top you can see here's a little bit of fussiness here if you if we scale here in this is this is how we did it with the second way with the selecting and uh, this is how we do it um with the lightning lighten layer settings because with the lighten you the 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 layer finds really exact every dark black part on your paper so yes yeah, this is it. um go back to the papers um i had now almost with each one a story so we have here some stripes um, stripes are always pretty nice they are done with the marker and i really really enjoyed this paper here 
And um, what you can do, I also want to explain you something because I saw that on a um, on a layout from a, one of my creative team members, um, it was Angela's for I know, and um, this is what she did. You can see she she turned around the the paper and she used the waves and added here her her journaling or her text and um, just a short note how you can do that, but there will also come up some kind of very cool templates which I've done yesterday um, with um, already created lines and waves on yeah on such papers um, but what you can do you can go to the path tool this is this with the feather one pen tool pen tool is it called German is a path so yeah okay I turn a do that layer out of it so what you can do now you start to point here just you don't need to make tiny this this is not um, necessary so make a dot here and then you make a dot and you make the point and then you turn off turn out this handles here and the next point is here the highest again and the handles and you go on the low, lower lowest point and you go into the handles and this is how you do the path and on that path you can write that's all what you need to do you can of course be more exactly you can go here and add here later also and change here the handles if you want to um, this is up to you if you don't like it of course um, this is all up to you if you want to be more exactly next one you go go to the text tool this is the text tool and then you need to you need to look we need to get closer there is if you go it there is a little little kind of little um, um, wave showing up now and now you need to click and now you can write it on the text um, command T and um, I'm gonna monotelic this is just one of my favorite and we make it a little bit bigger the font and what now happen, ha happens if you look closer now that the font is gone because we added uh, we, we made it way bigger than it was before you see this little dot now you need to hold your alt um no your command key and then go to this little dot here and you can move it and drag it and go with it all over what you can see now now the whole um um text what you have in it shows up but not in the um In the font you want to monotonic and um, we add here 11 point and we use here not middle we so now we can scale it down okay oh wait again click on it double click and you can see here the dot again hold the, the command key and go to the point and move it what can happen if you go a little bit on underneath you can see this is how you can change um, the direction of your of your um, font of of your journaling and the f more wider oh, no. nah. my I need to scale it or now I have it in the middle okay um, you need to take care that you, that you can see the whole path on your um, monitor so this is what you can do and now you can override it or um, use use another font if you want or change the, the, the size of the font that's all up to you now we have here or we go so if you want to only add a kind of headline um, then you make it bigger 
And this is how you can do all those waves and write on them in every direction. So, yeah. Um, and if you want to change later the path, um, that's a little bit tricky. Um, you need to, to, to use the path tool again. And also if you want to click hold the command and then you can change here with the handles, the direction of your path and your font will, or your words will change also. So this is, yeah. I hope this little trick will help you and maybe you have new ideas to 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 use this kind of um this way of using path wording however it is called <laughs> um yes um we go to the um I was still at the papers yes <laughs> so Yes, the black paper, and then we have here some different kind of white um, paper, a um, little bit with the texture, not much folded stuff, and some little uh, color changed, watercolor solids, pop purple, pink, baby, baby pink. Is it called baby pink? We say rosa. Just, you know, I really have like I don't know if I get old or silly or whatever. Now we have the bits and pieces, which I said um, in the beginning that it, the preview looks a little bit that it's not much in it, but you will see there are one hundred and one elements in this pack. Okay, as you can see here, we have. Diff baker's twine, black baker's twine. I love the combination of this um, pink, purple with black and white. Um, and um, I think this works pretty cool. You have different breads, bits and bows and um, bottle caps, bo whatever, um, buttons. I can remember my sister gave me them uh, so many, so, so many years ago and recently found them again and uh, also um, uh, rescanned them. Um, some old stuff here for black frame and lots of hearts, of course, some greenery and different kind of magic light. And don't forget, these magic lights can always be you. <coughs> I need to drink something. The magic lights you can always use um, as a clipping mask. You can clip on them your um, your photos. Uh, hold on. Valentine. Um, photo and we clip on it. And of course we can do that. Um, here are the copy paste solid and that look it looks pretty cool right and we do that underneath and uh, what we are going or shall we we also can use here the, the black and white paper close that don't Black and white paper and we clip that on that one so so okay this is a little bit weird here on top but what you can do of course you can change your magic light you go and click on it and always use the masking tool and you go into your brush tool and then you search for a for a soft brush i have tons of 
soft round brush like that one make it really big and we use now black and if you need to have black color and then you paint on the mask what you just created and now this stuff blends pretty nicely and if you create a group you can change here of course again the way how it overlays this is also pretty nice so you can you can create so many different ways um, or you can use stuff in many different ways how they shall look when we turn off the paper how it multiply color burn linear and this is this is also pretty cool how it would dissolve so you can see magic lights are really magic because they really do the trick and um, change a lot on a layout and of course it changed a lot on on your um on an image for example when we that's really colorful and place it underneath and then we go on top and say this is how you can change the look of your um, photo. Okay, um, we're going back to, to my bridge. Uh, magic lights, a lot of magic lights here. <laughs> some hearts, of course, and then we have some paint strokes, thick paint strokes um different colors different kind of yeah and pampas grass that's just so um you can see that everywhere in the deco shops everyone wants that and that's why i've added them and we have some paper flowers and peony and ribbons different ribbons different kind of sequins the silver heart I have bought once um, um, also again 15 years ago found it again and some staples because my girls from the CT team said I have two less staples and stuff to pin um, together stuff so yeah and threads and washies and that's it here for the um, bits and pieces pack here oh now we go into the curled frames <coughs> sorry uh, i opened a psd file um, this is how they look like so you have a layered psd file with different kind of um, layers we have the shadowing the curl itself the uh, the, the shadow inside so the internal sh shadow and then you have your um, your mask your image where you place your image and what you own you only need to to add here a photo and clip that here just into this image uh, or this layout called image that's all you don't need more when you want to have this curl not white what you can do now you can um, go to solid color and um, clip that also and use here um, one of the uh, colors from your image out of it so that looks pretty nice and you are done and um, an awesome way meanwhile if you have the latest Photoshop if you add here if you take all in one folder group from layers okay so you have a group and then you have here on the on the um, little site here a quick export as PNG 
And now you can export that um, and say uh, image. And it saves as a transparent image. Save it. And when you now go back and want to create your um, your layout, you have your paper, just open another paper. Where are they? Here, double click on it. And um, now you go into the folder where I have saved it. And here it is. Now you have here your PNG as an image. Of course, what you also can do, you can, if you have a group already, you take that group and go slowly here on top and then release it. And then you have added also, that's also a way. And then you have here, of course, all your um, layers in one group together. And what I always say, go and select all and tuck them all together so nothing will be separated or you forgot something or you lose one of the little elements here and there. So that's also something important. Um, yeah, these are the, 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 the curled frames and um, they are built up all the same way. Um, curled frames. Um, what what you can see panorama 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 um go to image and have that one here so you can clip that here so you have here if you can do when you use your iPhone, I don't know if that's the same on Android, but I guess um, you can do this panoramic um, photos. And um, this is how you can use it. Check that out. So, and also here you can change the color of the curl. Of course, what you also can do, you can use the um, effects and go to color overlay and pick here from one of the colors here something out and if you think the inner shadow is too much you can reduce it and make it more transparent and there are two different kinds of shadows here in the back um, and if you want not like it the, the heavy one just turn it off. So there are a lot of different kinds of options for you using these kind of um, um, layered frames, curled frames. Um, yes, this is it. Close that. Um, you get here six different kind of frames here. One is with a frame and um, the border you can change, of course, you can also change here the color. Um, this or that. Or change here the color of the um, so and add only a, um, a word out if you want to. Wow. We didn't reach the word out yet, yet, but um, copy paste, top on, and add that so you make your own kind of journaling cards. And um, yes, I should do some curled frames with the sizes for journaling cards. Good idea. Need to, need to not forget it. <laughs> um don't save okay back 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 we go to well, well we are in the alpha uh, in the uh, in the word arts just go through now okay here are the word arts um all you need is love you get two different kind of um um options here or, or versions um this is the sticker version and the non-sticker version 
um, sticker version be my Valentine. So um, these are the word arts all about um, Valentine and the between we have here some stamps and here we have another stamp this moment together class and we have here this sticker kind of word arts okay lots of different ways to use them um, and then we have what I forgot now the journaling cards um, this is how they look like and um, you get also two different versions we have here those and one with the mat here around I really love this white um, border at the moment and um, yes this is it paper scroll alpha oh, I forgot the alphas and te the template um, I talked so much already uh, black splatter this is how the black splatter letters look like um, very grungy and chunky um, the next folders these are the uh, the paint you maybe you can see the paper um, I have used paint and painted wood and one of the CT girls used this as a monogram and it looks so delicate on on her on her layout we discussed that yesterday in the in the chat um, at the lily pad so you can always think about if a, not, a new bayek um, comes out so it's always the first February uh, the first Friday in the month I have to chat at a little bit so you always be invited and it's uh, always 3 p.m. P no not p.m. Um, Pacific time check out the forum there is always an uh, announcement also in the in the newsletter um, of the lily pad it's announced when the chats are so these are really the the this um, black painted wood here and then we have the pinks which is stamped and um, also chunky and um, brighter pink and um, scroll more down and we have a purple version of this stamped look and another one and then we have some bubbly balloon striped letters here and and the last one is the white grunge um, which is a little little bit semi-transparent so you can see that look the black here shows through um, look at it ah no it just three now you can see it if, if we move it around so you can see there's a little bit the background coming through of this ladder yeah this is it um a oh, huge set of uh, of an alpha and this white one or so you can use of course uh, in any other collection and um the other colors like the pink ones or the purple ones you can recolor with um a color style or yeah templates these are pretty cool really I love them to create. You have here this um, really pretty cool um, greenery watercolor stuff here in the background. You have some different kinds of splatter and um, paint um, here in different kind of colors. They are all separated on on a, on a on an extra layer, and 
also here you have the splatter you can turn it off what you can do is you really cre can create a, a, um, a clean look of these templates if you turn off the stitches if you turn off the foliage and you have a simple and totally clean look and uh, only the, the lines of the grid are a little bit chunky but that's it and um, I think these kind of um, templates are so pretty cool to use because you there's a lot of a lot lots of ways to change it especially turning on and off the the the, the stitches makes so much um yes of um we can add here just I have a crush on you. No, I want that one. Oops. So add here your photos. You can clip it. And this is how it looks like. Um, of course, you can clip here a, a photo um, on it. But also you can use a papers. Um, we go back to the papers and use that here go on top and clip it so this is how it looks like when you when you add only a paper you have immediately a clean artsy kind of um, look on your template <clears throat> and those little spaces here are perfectly if you want to add here a word art or anything else you can add here of course artsy bits where are they? Where's the one I love so much? Here it is. And if you add that here in the background, like that's this way, or we go to the word arts. Um, love is in the air. Copy paste and add that here. So you can <clears throat> add a lot of different kinds of extras here in those little corners and um, yes make it even more artsier or of course if you turn that off it gets a lot of more cleaner and um, not so busy <laughs> um, yes six different um, templates you get here with um, with this set in 12 by 12 and they are all built up the same way um, I also offer them as PSDs as TIFFs and the layers as um, PNG files so if you don't want to use PSD or TIFF you can use the PNGs and layer them in your um, app however you want to that's it oh we didn't check out the layouts in in detail so here are the details uh, and the layouts my creative team and also the um, the team from the shop from the lily pad created um, I love that one the little bit also here you can also see here um, the templates are here used I wondered when I first saw this, this layout I thought so hey, what kind of um, collection is that but I think it's Olga who created that and um, she didn't use any of those pink and purple colors and um, you can see that my collections can always be used with the color stuff but also you have enough of elements and you can create layouts without those bold colors so this is the same collection <laughs> 
this is also pretty nice. Um, it's created by Anne. Um, she uses a lot of different kinds of actions, I guess, and um, they have all these watercolor effects. Here is the here is the, the the paper with the hearts, and this one I showed you already. Cool, right? This is um, the uh, most of those elements are not included because I think it's from Rachel Jeffries. A lot. It's one of the CT layouts from the shop, but she used the, the grid. So you can see pretty cool here um, how uh, stuff can combine from other designers. Yes, this is it. We are through and this video got again to very long and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I could show you some new tricks and um, you can learn um, a little bit out of uh, this video. Just uh, give me a thumbs up and um, please um, like this video. If you watch it, please. Yeah, um, it's very important for my YouTube channel. Um, I'm sure we're going to see us in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it and take care of yourself. Bye.